Okay, so today's a big day in uh, transitioning from our pioneer phase over to target phase. First transition. This is always the most exciting part for me of an agroforestry project is when we, we get to come in and we get to plant our target crops. Okay, transition so just day to is my favorite. Okay, I've got my two ladies here. We're doing the work all together. One of us making a space, one doing the planting, and one cutting the leaves to... Uh, protect the plant. So that's the story. Best day, transition day from pioneer, getting those very first target crops in the ground. And we're not just putting in all cacao, by the way, we're doing a three cacao and then a timber species. Okay. So this is eventually going to be an agroforestry system focused on citrus. We've also got about a hundred citrus trees in here, banana and plantain, heirloom cacao, and some good hardwood timber species. So in 10 years, it's not going to look, in five years, it's not going to look anything like this. Okay, so what you guys just saw was the first phase of transition from Pioneer over to Target. And one thing I really want to emphasize is that that is the hardest part. Those are the hardest years of transitioning over to an agroforestry system is really uh, years one through three. It's where you're putting the most into it and you're not really getting a lot out of it because you're... You're waiting. You're waiting thing for everything to grow. You still have to do maintenance, if, especially if it's a pasture. you got to mow the grass. you got to maintain around your little seedlings. And you don't have a whole lot of material to mulch with. So it's, it's, it, can, it can be a little bit trying in the beginning. But what I want to show you guys here is this is, a, this is a four-year-old plot that I'm standing in now. So four years later, and almost all of your labor has gone down to almost nothing. There's no grass to mow because it's all been shaded out. I mean, there's a little bit of ground cover, but we don't mow this. I just, I just come through, do a little maintenance with machete every once in a while. There's plenty of material to mulch with. You can see the bananas that were just babies over in the other field are here. They're big. They're tall. They're producing fruit and they're providing plenty of biomass, plenty of mulch. Uh, the cacao trees that we have back here, these are four years in and they're starting to produce. There's a little tiny flower here on this cacao tree, so precious. Um, but you can see the cacao tree, the trunk of it is well above the grass. So it's no longer in any danger of being overwhelmed. So my point is, is be patient and stick with it. Years one through three are the hardest. Years four, five, you start to transition into your target phase, you're accumulating lots of mulch, your labor costs go way down, and you start to get your product. So be patient, start with your pioneers, work your way through the transition, but stick with it. Okay, and then one more way that things get a lot less expensive as they go along is you can internalize one of your main inputs, which is your seedlings. So behind me, I just have a small nursery, but I've already uh, filtered about a thousand plants through here of Aroma Nasty and Al Cacao. And that's because we have a few trees that are now in production of Aroma Nasty and Al Cacao that are four years old and have started to produce. And we don't have enough fruit for fermentation yet to actually process the cacao. So what I'm doing is I'm taking all the pods and I'm harvesting them for seed to plant. So you can see here, I've got a couple hundred plants in here, and like we've already filtered through about a thousand plants, meaning that from a couple seeds, from a couple pods, uh, from a few trees, we've extracted over a thousand seeds. And the great thing about cacao is you have almost 100% germination rate. So this is another way over time that your costs decrease and your output increases, okay? So just keep that in mind, guys, okay? So please, if you find these videos informative, please go on, go on over to our website, www.sdvforest.com. I have a free blog, tons of information on there, free resources, and a free newsletter. No ads, no spam, and it's really good. I put a lot of thought into my newsletter, so please sign up. If you are so moved to support our reforestation and agroforestry project, please check us out on Patreon too. Our project is called Sueño de Vida, which means the dream of life, which is what we are making here our dream of life sueño de vida on patreon thanks so much for watching guys please subscribe